Peace be with you. My name is Mark Nemo, Director for Faith Formation here at St. Columbanus Church and also at Augustus Tolton Catholic Academy. Uh, I'd like to reflect with you on a scripture that I think is very, 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 very important, you know. Uh, I call this, you know, I title this message, A Time for Training, especially as we are all kind of practicing social distancing and hunkered down in our homes and all that. I think something deep is happening here in the midst of all this crisis, and you will understand why I'm saying that. So Psalm 144, uh, verses 1 and 2, begins, it says, Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my hands for battle, my fingers for war, my safeguard and my fortress, my stronghold, my deliverer, my shield in whom I trust who subdues peoples under me. Now, most of the Psalms, like you know, are attributed to King David, who was a great king of Israel and all that. And before he was anointed and made king of Israel, like you know, <laughs> he was a shepherd. And it's interesting that his training as a shepherd prepared him for what would happen later on. I'm sure as he was a shepherd, you know, uh, he took certain things serious. He diligently trained himself. And all that became helpful and profitable when he became king of Israel. Uh, it's very interesting. As a, one of the beautiful stories in the lives of David is, is his, his confrontation with, with, with the giant called Goliath. You know, so David and Goliath. That's also another story in the scripture. So if you read 1 Samuel, you know, from about chapters 15 through 16 and 17, it, it will tell you all the story about, about David. Now, the point I want to raise here is basically this, you know, that, that David hadn't ascended yet to the throne as a king. So he became first the armor bearer of King Saul. See, he became the armor bearer. And, and once his father sent him to, to take supplies to his brothers who were now in the battlefield. And so as David approaches the battlefield, he begins to see the confusion that's taking place there because of the, the giant Goliath has now, uh, if you like, told the armies of Israel that they should select one person to come and face him. And if he's able to defeat him, the fight is over. So all this back and forth thing is going on. David is watching how, how warriors are all disturbed and are cowering and terrified and all that. And he, he simply tells King Saul, I can go and face uh, the giant Goliath. And they look at him, they say, you're only a young boy. You don't have the swords, you don't have the shield, you don't have... So, so as the story unfolds, it's interesting because Saul dresses up David in his armor. And it's so interesting because the story says, as David walked towards Goliath, he says he felt uncomfortable in that. He wasn't used to that. He wasn't trained to be using somebody else's armor. And so he took everything off and he picked up just five stones, you know, from the bed of the river and he took his sling this was what he was used to. He had been trained in using these. And as he confronted Goliath, you know, one of the things he said was, you know, you know, I used to take care of my father's sheep in the field. And whenever a lion or a bear would come to pick one of its prey, I would fight it with my bare hands and take the prey out of its mouth. Now I can go and face this. So David had, if you like, been trained. I'm a teacher, so we have something we call previous knowledge. Sometimes the previous knowledge you have helps you to plan to do what? To teach a class. <laughs> so, so David basically used his previous knowledge. And you know how the story ends. He faces Goliath. Goliath is, is just, just disgusted because David is coming at him only with a sling and stones. Just with one slingshot, he brings the giant falling down. And of course, you know what happens in the story. And so my question to you is, 
how is God training you in this time of difficulty? <laughs> or how has God trained you? Remember what he said in the Psalms, Blessed be the Lord my rock, who trains my hands for battle. And I think all of us are going through some form of a training. Probably this is a time when you have so much time, no excuses to say, I cannot pray. Because you have so much time on hand. It's a time to trust God, to have faith. That's training as well. It just doesn't happen like that. There's nothing magical about that. Maybe it's a time to learn how to hope. It's a time to learn how to love. It's a time to read scripture. Like some of these stories that I've just re read out to you. It's the time to get our perspectives rightly ordered. <laughs> what is it that's most important to you? Because it can slip out of your hand and my hand in a second. Is life more important? Of course, I bet you say yes. But life is also very fragile. I, I, I just got a text from, from a, a friend who says, you know, she's lost four members of her family in the last week through this coronavirus. And they were all between the ages of 30 and 40. Totally unexpected, young. And so we get our perspectives rightly ordered so that when the day comes, when we have to face a Goliath, if you like, figuratively speaking, because of the training we have received, previous knowledge, we will be able to stand. That's why David is able to write all these psalms and simply say, the Lord is my rock, the Lord is my shield, the Lord is my fortress, the Lord is my deliverer, the Lord is my stronghold. He uses all these metaphors, if you like, to describe who God is to him because he had been through difficulties, he had put his training that he received into what? Practice. And that's, that's, that's how he was able to survive. And so I leave this with you that as we continue to go through this difficult time, it's a time of training as well. And let, let's learn the lessons that, that God is going to teach us through this. Like I mentioned in one of the videos, there's nothing new under the sun. Everything that is, has been before. And so, so God is going to train us and help us to, to find meaning and purpose even in the midst of difficult situations. So God bless you and take your training serious in this time so that we can be equipped as disciples and missionary disciples to carry out the gospel. God bless you.